After getting answers to the questions like why narcissists do what they do and after understanding their behavioral patterns, many survivors of narcissistic abuse ask the next obvious question, which is, do they ever feel any regret for doing all these things? Do they feel any guilt? Well, the short answer to this question is no, but it's more complicated. Why? Because they do feel regret. They feel guilt indeed, but not about hurting you. It's about something else. What's that something else? Let's find out in today's episode. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. In today's episode, I'll be answering the question, do narcissists ever regret their doings? If that sounds interesting enough, please make sure to subscribe before we begin because as I always say, your subscription to this channel helps spread awareness about narcissistic abuse. Narcissists do not care about being right or wrong. They do not care about doing the right thing because they have moral ambiguity, which means their moral compass keeps changing its direction depending on the goal they are trying to hit, depending on what they are trying to get out of a situation. Now, what does that have to do with the question at hand? If someone does not have a living conscience, if someone is not guided by the intention to do the right thing, how would they even care or even regret about the things they do to you or to others? They do not feel any regret when it comes to hurting other people because they feel justified in the way they behaved, in the way they treated you, and in the way they see themselves and the world. However, they do regret about something and that is not being able to fully establish control over you, not taking care of the loopholes, not taking care of everything that would have enabled them to trap you for the rest of your life. They regret not taking full advantage of your kindness. They regret not pushing you to your limits. They regret not taking revenge on you. They regret not alienating you from your kids. They regret for not tearing you apart even further. That is what their regret is all about. How do I know this? How can I be so sure of what I'm saying? Because I have been through this. When I left my narcissistic family, I got to see this form of regret in my parents. My father regretted his choice of forcing me to leave home and study in a different state. Had he not done that, I would have stayed as a prisoner of his control, of his abuse and everything that he did to me and other family members. So he regretted his decision of sending me out. He did not regret the things he had done that pushed me to leave and go no contact. None of that was uh, any part of the equation. My mother selectively regretted supporting my father in this decision and she blamed everything on him as she likes to because she's a victim type vulnerable narcissist. She points out all the reasons why I left home because of him pushing me. Abuse is not talked about. It's just that he sent me out. Had he not done that, they would have still had me and this would have never happened, and so on. Nobody talks about the actual reason why I left, the abuse, the trauma, the toxicity, the chaos, the drama, and nobody actually addresses the elephant in the room. They're still acting as if they're a normal family, and I am the crazy child who has left them, abandoned them, and it's all my father, father's fault, and they just keep cross-blaming each other. None of that is true. The truth and reality is the regret they feel is not actual regret. They feel a mutated version, a mutated, changed variant or a form of it that only serves their narcissistic ego. Why? Because they want me back. Not that they want me actually back. They want me back to serve their narcissistic ego. My mother would call other people and would, you know, cry wolf and uh, share stories, narrate stories like I used to call her four to five times a day and I would always want to be near her. I would always give her attention. I would always do this, that and the other. That is true. But I didn't know back then I was enmeshed and because of my separation anxiety, because of my abandoned abandonment and neglect that she had put me through, I was behaving that way. They do not regret losing you. They do not regret 
causing you so much pain. They do not feel guilty about not changing themselves when you gave them chances. They do not think about their behavior at all because they can't reflect, they can't take in insights from other people. I try to do that with my mother. I try to show her what she needs to change and why she is toxic even after knowing nothing can change here. I still did that. Possibly I was holding on to hopeless hope, but still it was like banging my head against a wall. She never showed any change in her behavior. In fact, she kept repeating the same thing, calling other people, faking regret, and that regret was a regret of a hunter who lost its prey, whose prey escaped the trap, the cage, and now the hunter is crying about it. The hunter is just feeling not guilty but regretting not being vigilant enough to keep it trapped. That is the kind of regret a narcissist feels, which you know is predatory in nature. It's all about them. You, your emotions, your experiences that led you to taking the decision you took, none of that is considered. None of that is respected. None of that is seen as a possible reason behind the decision they did not want you to make. Their regret is nothing but self-pity which they use to gain more supply. They go around and act like this poor victim of the circumstances who has been wrong and then other people try to console them, other people try to support them and they become angry towards you as the perpetrator. That is what the narcissist wants. The narcissist wants to isolate you from the rest of the world and get as many people as possible on their side so that they can punish you. Their regret might also turn into false remorse. They may make it seem like they know what they have done and they are now apologizing. Most of them don't, but some of them do, especially if they are extremely dependent on you as their source of supply. So they, those emotions that you see them expressing are not coming from a place of remorse, understanding, reflection, and a desire to change. They are coming from total loss of control, total collapse of false narcissistic self that regrets losing control, that regrets giving you the freedom that you should naturally have had in the past, that, that regrets giving you the chances to explore yourself, that regrets not being cautious and vigilant enough. In this toxic, messy game of a narcissist, it's always them who wins. They want to have control over you, which is why if you have left them, if you have created space, do not look back. No matter how much regret they seem to be feeling and no matter what other people tell you, people might tell you she or he is ready to apologize. They know what they have done. They know the, that they shouldn't have made these mistakes, but understand it's a part of their plan. Once you go back, they'll treat you worse than ever because all that anger will come out of them and they will try to destroy you. And this time, they won't make a mistake. They won't leave any space for you to escape. Once you are no contact, stay no contact always and understand that this person that you are with is not even a human being, it's an entity. It is a flesh suit walking around, breathing, laughing, eating, sleeping and doing the narcissistic things that you don't do, but in other ways they seem to be like you. However, they are not. They are soulless beings. They, there is no one home. So why would they feel things or experience guilt like normal human beings do? Keep that in mind and do not ever go back. There is no answer to these questions whatsoever. You won't ever get the answers you're looking for that would satisfy you. Just see them for who they are and that will set you free. With that, let's bring this episode to an end. Thank you so much for listening and for staying with me. I'll talk with you in the next one. Until then, as always, let the healing begin and continue.